Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Uh, we've got a lot to do here for this episode, uh, but before I uh, get into that, first of all, um, I want to say the reason why I, <laughs> I kind of skipped two days as far as uploading videos, because uh, after the last Transport Fever video I uploaded, so episode 15, uh, I honestly, uh, I noticed uh, my voice was starting to go, and sure enough, I did notice that in the recording as well, that my voice sounded a bit off and stuff. So uh, I took two days because uh, I was starting to not feel so good. So I'm back now. I'm well rested uh, and uh, looking forward to getting back into it here. The second thing I want to do is I, I noticed I didn't mention this, but uh, uh, in the Transport Fever 2 series, and I know not everyone watches my uh, Vault Hunter series as well. Uh, so I, I feel like I better mention it here in Transport Fever 2 as well. Uh, but uh, May is... Uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, and as part of that, I'm doing a uh, fundraiser for Heart Support, which is a charitable organization. Uh, it is a community-based effort uh, effort there, um, and it offers, uh, you know, as you know, it offers community-based uh, programs there to help uh, people who are struggling with their mental health. It gives them a, you know, it gives them a place where they can uh, talk and um, be at ease. But also, uh, they do other activity. You know, they, for example, you might be familiar with them because they actually have a Twitch channel. Uh, technically, I think they have more than one Twitch channel. But the point is, they uh, they're streaming on Twitch, uh, a lot of content there. And it, it, basically, their goal is to create a community where people feel comfortable to come and talk about uh, the, the what they're struggling with there with their mental health and uh, help them find help, uh, rather you know, for pro both professional help and as well as uh, you know, support. One of the most important things uh, in terms of treatment outcome for mental health is having a strong support group. So uh, I'm glad to hear that they're out there to help provide that role for those who otherwise might not have that. So uh, if you can, uh, please consider giving money to help support heart support during Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, so with that being said, uh, there's a... Oh boy, do we have a lot to do here. Um, so looking over things, um, I guess you could say I have two goals uh, for uh, this recording session of mine. Uh, the first goal is going to be to get the chemical plant here connected up uh, to the line here uh, so that we can start supplying the chemical plant with oil, uh, refined oil to be precise. Also, it's going to allow us to take more oil from the Hampton oil well to the refinery uh, so we can refine the oil there. Um, and start shipping the refined oil there to start, you know, getting the chemical plant ready to produce plastics so that we can ship the plastics and hopefully drop them off at Palm Bay Goods Factory. Um, the alternative, of course, would be to take it all the way up here to Lexington Goods Factory, but I just don't think this is very manageable. It, it's just too, it's too tight. You know, we, we can't fit everything we want in here uh, properly. So Palm Bay is probably going to be our supplier of goods. Uh, the second thing, though, uh, that I want to accomplish is I want to redo this. I've been staring at Grand Prairie. Uh, I know it's that's not easy when when you gaze at the abyss. The abyss gazes back. Gazes back. Uh, that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Grand Prairie. The more I stare at it, the mm, just <sighs> they're trying to create some kind of weird thing here. Um. After having given it some thought here, I've come up with a solution. It's not necessarily a great solution, but it is a solution. Um, what I think we'll want to do is we'll want to put a station in either on like kind of a diagonal here. We could do that or right here. Uh, well, specifically, it would be more like right in here. Basically, uh, build a road network here to um, build a road off here, connect up here try and get them somewhat on a grid system here. I, it really feels like uh, there's two civil engineers here and they're just battling uh, you know, for city planning here, how to plan the city and stuff. This person's trying to create weird shapes and stuff. They're basically accessing their creative side. Uh, and this person's trying to create something that actually works. I feel bad for uh, this person because this is nuts. This is no. Anyways, um, so if we can get the, uh, if we can get a station in here, what we can then do, we'll just basically pull this line. Uh, specifically, I'm thinking it's gonna be like 
It's gonna come off this way. And it's gonna come up here. It's gonna basically come to where that bridge is, and we can just hook right into the Y. Um, we'll probably end up cutting back somewhere in here. And this whole bit here is going to be redone as well. We'll move uh, the uh, station here to the other side. In fact, we should we could probably do that now. Uh, it's gonna be clear here in a moment. Oh no, we got another train coming in there, don't we? Well, anyways, the point is move the station over there because this is gonna be torn out, so we have room over here uh, to come off that way because so the track's gonna be coming in kind of like this. Um, but first, let's get the chemical plant going. Um, so, to start this off, let's just uh, get our uh, station here. And uh, after having given it some thought, there's there's kind of three ways you can do this, but only two that make sense. So what, we're going to go with one of the ways that makes sense. Uh, we'll put our station in here. And then what we'll do is we'll take our tracks and we'll kind of start getting the shape we want here. Yeah, that's about where I wanted it in terms of uh, that's like the perfect curve that I was looking to make there. And it's we're going to have to go a little bit straight here, I think. Um, Oh wow, we can actually get pretty close in there. That's pretty nice. That's looking nice. Okay, it's starting to go up in cost. You know, let's do that. Um, this is going a lot smoother than I expected already. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I want to put in another station, and this is going to be for the uh, oil well here. And how are we going to do that? Let's just connect it there, maybe? Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not sure how I want to do it. Um, is there any advantage to being further out? Not really. We'll keep it back here somewhat. Let's plunk it there. That's a good spot for it. It's as good a spot as any, I suppose. And this one here is, just needs to be single track. It doesn't need to be double tracked. Um, eighty's fine. Yeah, eighty's fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this in sections because uh, also we're gonna have to tear out this road piece here. I think when we do this, uh, so let's do that. We're gonna be kind of coming through there, and we can straighten this out somewhat. That's fine. It's a little too curvy there. So we have kind of an idea of where we want it. Um, actually, if we just build it like that, um, we'll, we'll just double track it. It probably doesn't need double tracked, but we will do so. Um, let's actually just drag this all the way and connect it up. Good grief, that's a lot of money. But, you know, we're, 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 we're making good money again, so... Well, that time it was less, but probably because it didn't have to elevate things as much. Um, let's, uh, let's peel back more of the road here. Oh, I, I want to make sure I do not want ownership of this. Um, hang on. Actually, let's, uh, let's just trim that. Um, I mean, it's not ideal, but sure. It's amazing how $83,000 to build a dirt road. Uh, just amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, we're completing this a lot quicker than I thought here. So that that's good news. That's what I want to see. I, I want to see this going quicker here. Okay, so we are going to have to add um, our second platform here for when we start exporting uh, the plastic. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty. Connect it up there. We need to put our cross in and then it's signaling, but um, not gonna be too worried about the signaling initially. Um, we can also now connect this up. And this just has to be uh, single. All right, 80. Good enough. All right, yeah, that looks good. So what we have to do is we do have to put a one-way signal here. Uh, we'll put a one-way signal there. And a one-way signal there. So that's kind of our... We don't need that signal there, but what it is is that I want to um, help start establishing block sections here. Um... Let's put that there, and let's keep this as one long block, I think, because, uh, you know, it, it gets bunched up a little bit in there. Um, and mm, honestly, for now, we're fine with that. That's fine for now. And we don't really need to add a new uh, a new depot here. So let's uh, spend four million. <laughs> we'll get a mogul and we'll get oh. Let's just go for these um, new ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we'll spend about five million. And train 28, we're gonna give it a new line here. Uh, that's actually uh, about the right color for this line. Uh, so we're coming off of this one. So technically what it's gonna be is it's gonna be uh, pickup crude oil. Or, I mean, pick up refined oil, drop off refined oil, and then pick up uh, un, uh, it's crude oil. And let's change the color slightly. Let's go with that one, because this seems to denote that this is for the plastic line. Although, technically, this is oil, not plastic, so let's add it to the oil color there. I think we were using this for to represent oil. So, that's fine. Great. Um, I think that's all ready to go. Wow, we that was done in much quicker than I expected it to be done. Um, okay, so now we got to resume here. So uh, we got to talk about what we're going to be doing here. Uh, these stations each need to be repositioned so that they're facing this way. So like this one over here. Uh, they're going to cut them off and connect. Uh, so we're going to have a line kind of come up through here. Um, I kind of need to see how much space I want to leave uh, for putting in a station here. Okay, so basically using the, the tree and the rock there, I want to keep the track somewhat to the side of that. And the track's gonna um, probably be coming this way, so... Let's draw a piece of track right here. And this will represent, you know, this gives us clearance from a the platform there should we decide to add it. So there's our first kind of measurement here. And we can, we can, we're gonna be heading, bent turning this way anyway, so that's uh, fine. Um, Reno Iron Ore Mine closes in 360 days. Where is that? I mean, it's obviously by Reno. Okay, um, I don't know about the, what to do with that. I mean, I feel like we're fine as is with our uh, resources right now, uh, so I'm not going to concern myself with that. Um, the, the, the big issue is we have a bunch of track that needs to be redone here. Um, I feel like we can use most of this, but we're going to have to turn here. Uh, so it's going to kind of come through here, cross the road, uh, and this is going to link up to it like that. So what we can do for now is we can put in a new station, I think, here. Uh, but to do so, I think we're going to have to temporarily at least disconnect the road here, maybe. Um, 
This is the part that worries me, because it, it, this is going to be a little tight. It's going to be a little tight. The alternative is that we... No, we can't do that. I mean, we can't place it on the side here and have stuff turn into it. It's just going to be too sharp, I think. I mean, what would that be, kind of, roughly speaking? Well, I mean, okay, yeah. See, it's going to be pretty tight. We can probably get about 75 through there. Yeah, I mean, 75 wouldn't be... Well, actually, it's going to be tighter than that. Um, it's going to be much tighter than that. So let's go ahead and try and squeeze in a station here and see where we can go from there. Okay, so this is kind of like... Um, I don't want to say it's the bare minimum, but, uh, you know, because technically we could do this with just two tracks, but uh, this is our new station here, and let's actually make it a little bit more pretty by uh, fixing some of these bumps in the ground. Oh yeah, that looks much nicer. Uh, we can fix that as well. All right, much, much better. Um, yeah, there might be like a drainage uh, ditch there along the side. Okay, so now we gotta hook it up here. Um, we got a couple of options on how we can do this. I think what I'll do This is kind of uh, nutty, and I should have checked to make sure the line was clear before I started work on this. Um, we could do what we're kind of doing. We can do what we're already doing here at Palm Bay, which is have it where the trains will just run through one of these two, you know, one of these tracks if it's clear, because the odds of all of them be having a train already using them are pretty low. But I don't like doing this. I do not like doing this. I mean, it, it is realistic and stuff, especially for passenger service, but I don't know. I, I kind of... I'd rather do that uh, than what we did here in Reno. Um, I'm not... I do not like having this. Uh, why, why can't everything be like uh, in, you know, how we have Glendale and Lexington. Oh boy. So yeah, my biggest concern about the way I currently have it is that what if we need to expand more platforms for the goods factory? Because just about everyone, every city seems to want goods always, it seems, uh, when you do this. Um, I still had the cranes there selected, which I clicked on by accident. Um, but giving it some thought here, well, we can just switch to what we're doing in Palm Bay fair and, you know, easily enough if we have to expand it. Uh, basically, this would just shift one track over, you know, both of these would shift one track over. We put a platform in there. We can add more tracks that way. You know, it, it's not a big deal. Th this works. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hook up, the, we're going to grab this and uh, we're going to try and drag it here. There we go. And we want to get this to... Uh, I'm trying to remember what the lucky number is for this. I think it's 50. Yeah, I think it's 50. And then for here, it's 60. And then for this track, it's like 70 something, I think. Yeah, 75. And then over here, we just put in our crossing. Although, 50 might be a bit on the slow side. What we need to do is we need to build a stretch here. Technically, we could start curving over. The problem is I'm not really positive what the shape of that is. Actually, I kind of already know, but we're we got to drag the inner line here. So this is the inner set of track. We need to drag it all the way here and hook it up to there. That's going to cost us... Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to cost us. It's only 200 and something. Still got to tear out the old track there um, and the tunnel there. And now we do the inner or the outer line here, connecting it up. 
think it's uh look it up. Looks it. Okay, that's good to go. Um now it's just trying to get this to do its thing. I'm not sure if 50's the magical number here or not, uh, when you're on a curve like that. But... Technically that should have been 60, but again, we're on a curve here. Yeah, it seems like if it's on a curve, you're gonna subtract 10. Uh, so we got what we wanted there for that. Then we gotta do our crossover here. Beautiful. Put in a signal here. Yeah, I did that right. Part of me wants to um, make this uh, a block section here as well. Um, but I don't know if that's the right idea. I kind of... Hmm... I feel like we need to have a, a, you know, let's have it be a block from there to here. Well, technically it would be from the uh, switch. It, it would be from here to here would be a block. Um, and then, you know, from that signal to here. Well, actually, once again, it's not technically from the signal, it's from the switch here. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that for now.